thing that we're going to do is with prime numbers. So when we're talking about prime numbers, you need to know a number is prime if and only if it has a factor of 1 and itself. So the two factors and 1 and itself. So when we talk about prime numbers, some examples, if I were to do it in numerical order, would be 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, and so on. And again, 2 is only divisible by 1 and itself. 3 is only divisible by 1 and itself. Notice that 4 is not included. 4 is divisible by 1 and itself, but it's also divisible by 2. So the only even prime number that you'll have is 2. Every other even number after that will not be prime because 2 can divide into it. So we're going to be using prime numbers to find our least common multiple. And what the least common multiple is, it's the smallest common multiple of a set of two or more numbers. So when you're asked to find the least common multiple of two or more numbers, we're going to be using something called the ladder method. And the ladder method uses prime factoring. So how the ladder method works is you're going to write the two numbers in a row. So we have 24 and 36, and I want to find the least common multiple. So I'm going to write the two numbers in a row, and then I'm going to draw an L shape around it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to divide out common prime numbers, and I'm always starting with the smallest prime number. So I'm looking at 24 and 36, and I want to divide out the common prime number they have or prime factor they have in common. And because they're even, it's going to be 2. So I'm going to start with 2, and I'm going to divide it into 24 and 36. And whatever's left will go underneath the number. So that when I divide 24 by 2, I get 12. When I divide 36 by 2, I get 18. And again, I'm going to repeat this process until they no longer have common factors. So again, they're both even. I'm going to divide 2 into both the numbers. Whatever is left is going to go underneath. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And now 2 doesn't go into these numbers. But the next prime factor, 3, will. So now I'm going to use 3, and I'm going to divide it into both numbers, and whatever's left is going to go underneath. So I divided 3 into 6, and I got 2, 3 into 9, and I got 3. Now there's no more common factors. So now I can find my least common multiple by multiplying the L shape on the outside of numbers. So notice that all the numbers on the outside create that L, the least common multiple, and I multiply all these numbers together and that will give me my least common multiple, which in this case would be 72 for 24 and 36. Now I like to multiply the side numbers first because it's easier, they're smaller numbers. 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. I multiply the bottom numbers together. 2 times 3 is 6. And then I take those two numbers and multiply them together, and I get my least common multiple. So I'm just trying to show you another quick method of how to do this multiplication so you're not doing each one of them individually. Pause and try. So the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to write it in a line, and then you're going to draw your L shape around it. You're going to divide out prime factors, and in this case, the smallest prime factor is 3. And then I'm going to also have 3 again, and then they have no more factors in common. So I'm going to multiply the side numbers, the bottom numbers, and then I multiply those two numbers together, and my least common multiple here would be 54.